Hi there. All right, so here we are in the Blue Hills. You can see behind me, lovely map of the Blue Hills, currently on the Red Trail. And uh, you can see that I've been uh, trail marking that with my 30 inch snowshoes. Yep, I know, 30 inch giant, but what can I say? Um, you know, MSR Lightning Ascent, $350 base price. And then you add those little extensions, that's another $100. And then you add uh, the case that goes in, another $80, yeah, $600. So for the 22 or the 25 inch. But the 30 inch, for some reason, were half the price. Go figure. Anyway, uh, so the only problem I have is when I gotta try to fit them in someplace. But fortunately, I got my Kestrel Osprey backpack, which actually has some uh, REI clips on the back, quick release. And so I can easily snap them on to the outside uh, within about a minute or two. And yeah, so you can hear the birds behind me. Beautiful uh, day. It snowed all yesterday on Friday. And here we are Saturday morning with a you know, lovely uh, forecast. All right, so I've been breaking trail so I can be courteous to uh, the people who are only on micro spikes uh, behind me. All right, I am gonna go forward and see if I can uh, get some of this recorder and video. Here we go. All right, let's check this out. See if I can mount the camera on my chest. And this is new to me. So old man trying to figure out technology. So as I said, um, it gets difficult to put the gloves on. So just get your liners separately. And then of course, so liners first. I know, I know, this seems like idiot training, but I'm making this for my friends down in Tampa, Florida. And this, remember the old days of idiot mittens? Well, children mittens, when you were a child, where you had one string connecting the other mittens? Well, it's basically the same thing except for adults. You sense that up around the wrist, and that way, if uh, you're getting hypothermic and acting uh, illogical, you have uh, one step extra of protection uh, from uh, making the mistake of uh, not keeping your extremities warm. So it's good to have multifunction uh, gloves. You can unzip or zip depending on how hot you're getting. Uh, uh, tighten, tighten again or loosen as you feel. And so now got the jumbo snowshoes. And uh, so I already broke some of this trail and then I backtracked to uh, start the video near the map. And so here we are. So of course, my group usually hikes five days a week, usually Thursdays and Thursdays off. And I, uh, I've come through here previously, but you can see now as it starts to get steeper, I can switch to get my, uh, Heels up, and off I go again. And if you go straight up some of this area here, and flatten it out as needed. So, and of course, it does a it's a great thigh workout. So if you want to have Make your thunder thighs turn into lightning thighs. Uh, get yourself some MSR Lightning Ascent snowshoes and have a good time. And yeah, gets too steep. Actually, use your hiking poles to uh, give you the extra assist. And so, off we go. And alternate with each leg. I know, seems rudimentary, but you'd be surprised how many people don't know how to walk once they get on the trail. Common sense is not all that common. All right. and of course, I have athletic asthma, so when I'm talking, I'm going up a steep hill in the freezing cold, I lose my breath. And so, you can either stick on the well-known trough or 
widened path so people have a little bit of an option while still being on the path. Try to avoid going off path as that uh, destroys the trees vegetation the ability to recover during the winter. Here we go. So you can see how even an asthmatic guy like myself is able to overcome the steep angles. All right, now that we've flattened out, I use my hiking pole to knock down the heel lift and I can proceed on a flatter trail with a greater ease. And of course, start to recover my breath. And this is always nice. When things get icy and snowy, uh, something that would have been up here is now blocking and hitting you in the head. So it's usually good to wear some sunglasses. Get yourself some inexpensive sunglasses you don't mind losing and use it as some uh, low cost eye protection. Now, one of the other joys of going up is of course going down. Now, when I am going downhill, I prefer to go in the new snow. That way it's actually easier on these old knees. Yeah. Once you get past 40, you start feeling your old high school knee injuries, whether you're a soccer player or long distance runner. Uh, pick your sport. They usually result in knee injuries. Uh, and so by the time you hit 50 plus, you will definitely feel the knee injuries. And every day is, okay, do you use hiking poles, knee braces, both, and uh, off you go. Uh, making lemons into lemonade so that you can uh, get out there and uh, keep enjoying the outdoors, social distancing. And as a uh, middle-aged person, you can still feel social and athletic. So during the social distancing times or quarantine times, you can still keep in shape without uh, impacting other people. You can get the whole instead of the individual. So, uh, there you go. Uh, and of course, this is not the safest part in this area. People sometimes call this a mountain, but, but it's actually just a hill. All right. And again, I pause my, apologize for having been born with asthma, but, and of course, hiking poles need to be adjusted with a screw here, because frequently when you uh, weigh over 150 pounds, as soon as you put your weight on a pole, it is gonna shrink. So now that I'm gonna go downhill a little bit, I'm gonna increase the size to 130 centimeters. So currently I have it 130 and 100, and then 130 and 130 centimeters. And I know, I'm American, but what can I say? Hiking is an international sport activity. Uh, and so now that I'm going downhill, what I try to do is incorporate what I've learned from cross-country skiing when going downhill, is you do sort of a, a length uh, slide with one leg in front of the other. And that way you can uh, curve and turn uh, as, as needed. And of course, as I mentioned, size 30 snowshoes or wearing like giant clown shoes. And uh, so whenever going over a log, there's a rare joy of feeling like uh, I'm going over an obstacle course, uh, being a sprinter, going over hurdles. 
So, yep, practice your uh, hurl stretches. So here we are, as you can see, going downhill for a bit. So I prefer to go in the area which is fresher snow so I don't slam on my, my old knees as much. And this way, as an older person, I'm still able to enjoy what the young people can for outdoor activities. Get out there and, uh, you know, technique instead of power. There we go. As you can see, I'm sliding a little bit. So I'm just going with it, doing sort of a, a moon jump. Uh, and now it's flyer again. So easier on the knees. And then a little bit more downhill coming up. And that's where I'll end this quick video. Uh, all right, off to the left. Yay! Uh, and of course, try not to twist an ankle. All right, cool stuff. All right. One, two. All right, and that is me for a little bit of Blue Hills snowshoeing and uh, local adventures in the Boston suburb area. All right, I'll talk to you guys later and still keep fit, keep healthy, and uh, yeah, keep fighting the good fight. All right. <laughs>